Hello, and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I'm showing you this, my legend, rear-wheel drive drift tune for the 2020 Lexus RCF Track Edition. Now I just did a video of this one right here, the master all-wheel drive, and as you can tell, it's a two-star. And so is my, my rear-wheel drive. My rear-wheel drive is uh, right now better than my all-wheel drive. Either way, uh, here's the share code for this thing. I did show the same share code in uh, my all wheel drive, but I'm pretty sure you're here for the real wheel drive. So here you are. Got it? Great. Let's continue on. Yeah, this thing's amazing. It's got 1,515 horsepower, 1,101 uh, foot pounds of torque. It's on slick tire um, race, you know, slick tire race compound, um, real wheel drive, of course. But yeah, this thing is, is awesome. And I I'm, I'm, can't wait to show you guys everything on this. Uh, my recent captures, I'm going to show you guys um, the, the video of this thing. I believe it's this one right here. Yep, that's the one. You guys get to see it from the beginning. This thing's uh, this thing's easy. This is a great, uh, easy tune. It has a top speed, uh, so you know it's not it's not wicked when it comes to uh, the tuning aspect of it uh, and just the drifting aspect of it. It really is a great car. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. Yeah, I knew when this this car was available. I was like, and it, sh it showed up on on my uh, my feed. It was like, I got to make a real wheel drive tune for this one. And yeah, so I first started with the all wheel drive, then I went to the real wheel drive because I can do both. And that takes some skill to go from like real wheel drive to all wheel drive, all wheel drive to real wheel drive. Uh, it's uh, it, it can mess with you. <laughs> but it's not too like crazy with it being fifteen hundred and fifteen horsepower, you know. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a lot of power to deal with, but it, it, it isn't that bad. I actually think this thing feels very con well controlled for that amount of power uh, that are going to the rear wheels. And that slick tire uh, compound really does help uh, you control this vehicle. Like I turn that wheel in the front, it, it goes. It goes where you know you you want it to go, <laughs> basically. And to make sure I don't get confused, I even have like two cars. I, I bought another one of these for the real wheel drive version of it. See that? I just turned the wheel and it got me out of a situation of where I could actually have spun out there, but it did not. And I mean, look at that. We did a 1.070 with this thing, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there that rock rear wheel drive all the time probably can hit 1.1 million with this car uh with this tune so it is absolutely a beast and that's 
probably why the popularity is a two. I mean, people are loving this thing. So, uh, I mean, even that's a two star though too. And it's my old drive, which is just, it's just, you know, it's really cool. Um, yeah. So there's the uh, replay to this thing. Um, now this paint job I found uh, was pretty sweet. Um, and uh, let's see if I can find it here. Let me go to my designs here. See if I can find this for you guys. In case you want to have this same paint job on your car as well. Um, you know, so. Um, let this thing lo load up. Uh, you know how sometimes it just takes it, its sweet time sometimes. Um, you know. So, yeah. So, it'll be that one right there. Uh, uh, so, it's by uh, Rye Racing. So just look up uh, Rye Racing, and you'll be able to uh, find this thing. It just says Forza Livery. I'm sure they, they, they probably could have had a whole better name to that thing, um, but it is what it is. Um, and, you know, I like that thing, so I should just say, hey, I, you know, great painter, so I'm just going to, you know, say I like them. And here we go. I'll even, I'll even hit that like there. What did I just say? You know, okay. Drift cone killer drag. Whatever. That's cool. Either way. But yeah, so it is what it is. So let's get into this and show you guys everything I did to it. So car mastery is just stock. I, did, I didn't mess with anything like that. It does have a drift, a natural drifter on there. So, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. Now let's go into show you guys everything I've done to this thing. So it's got the 6.5 liter V12, of course. Okay. Stock drivetrain, rear wheel drive. Twin turbo. Nothing in the front. Just regular stock uh, front bumper and regular non-adjustable uh, um, rear spoiler. Or wing, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it's got a slick race tire compound, gives you that extra, you know, grip and control. It just got regular uh, two fifty uh, fives in the front, so you know, skinny in the in in the front, but in the back, it I brought it all the way up to a three oh five uh, in the rear. Of course, I'm using. My favorite rims, the uh, TC105Ns are at the bottom here, pretty easy to find in the very first uh, sport rim style. Now to make this look really good, I went with, uh, I maxed it out to 21 inches in the front and 21 inches in the rear. All right, now the track width is just upgraded to the second one over. And maxed out on the rear. It all works out. It all looks, you know, flush with the body. It looks really good. All right, you got a race clutch. You got a six speed race transmission. You got a carbon fibered uh, race driveline and a drift differential. Do you have drift springs and dampeners on this? Anti-roll bars for the front, anti-roll bars for the rear, just both race. No roll cage, no reinforcement, just to keep the weight down. Uh, but it's got a race weight reduction, so we're saving over 600 US pounds. So that's, that's amazing. 3,300 US pounds with all that power, yeah. And that makes it so then I can do all this stuff here and get it all into race so we can get all that glorious power uh, pump into the uh, rear wheels. Let me show you guys my tune, show you guys what I did to this thing. So I did 15-15 just to give you that extra, you know, control. I mean, like it's still got a top speed of 268 miles per hour, so it is fast. Um, and the only way I was able to do it was I, I went through here and usually these are what you'd be using anyways. 
and then the uh, uh, six gear gives you that that top speed of 268 uh, miles per hour. So it's just so when you're like traveling from drift zone to drift zone, you'll be you'll be all right. Um, either way, my alignment is is pretty uh, straightforward here. Uh, negative 1.4, negative 1.4, 5.0, 2.1. This makes it a straight build. Um, so yeah, it's uh, been using this for years and it just works. Uh, so we got 1990 and 1790 for the uh, for the rear. All right. And then springs are 955.1, 936.0. Um, lows you can go in the front and lows you can go in the rear. Dampening is 20, 20, 1 and 1. There is no downforce to worry about. Brakes are just stock uh, 50% and 100%. And then my differential is 21% for acceleration and 100% for deceleration. And that's the tune. So yeah. Yeah, this is an absolute beast. And I hope you guys enjoy uh, this car as much as I do. But until next time, stay sideways, my friends. <laughs>